Have you ever tried to talk to your non-stepmom friends about your stepmom stressors and their reaction is something along the lines of, well, you knew what you were signing up for when you decided to marry him? No. No, actually I didn't. Hey guys, if you're not familiar with me, my name is Jamie Scrimger. I am a second wife, a stepmom of three, and a mom of one, and I blog candidly about our blended family life, and I provide online support to stepmoms on my website, jamiescrimger.com. Over the past few weeks, I've been getting a lot of messages from stepmoms with concerns about a very, very big problem. Their stepchildren's mother is trying to sabotage their relationship. It goes a little something like this. My mom says that I don't have to listen to you. My mom says that you and dad did yada yada yada. My mom says that you're a yada yada yada. My mom says that I'm not supposed to like you. I'm gonna go on record and tell you exactly how I feel about this type of behavior. I think that it's disgusting, sad, manipulative, and very, very abusive. It puts pressure on these little people who already have to deal with so many more adult problems than they should have to be dealing with in the first place. A child loving one parent, step or not, should not cause the other parent to be upset. They shouldn't be afraid that if they love their new stepmom, that mom's going to be mad. It's just not okay. The way I see it, the more people who love your kid, the better. So the question is, what is a stepmom to do? And you know what? I don't think you're gonna like this answer because there's not much that you can do about it. The cold hard truth is that you can't control how someone else acts. The only thing that you can control is your own reaction. Now, some of you might be saying, yes, you can do it. You can go the lawyer's route. You can get child protective services involved. You can bring this up in your next court date. And you can, you can do that. But from my experience, the outcome is not always positive, and it's a long drawn out process that is extremely stressful for everyone involved, including the kids. So you're probably watching this video and saying, okay, Jamie, thanks so much. This video is totally a waste of my time, but just hold on. I do have something that I want you to think about. When you're deciding how you're going to act or react to this type of behavior, because honestly, if it's happened once, it's going to happen again, I want you to consider something. What do you want your stepkids to remember about their childhood when it comes to you as their stepmom? Because when this happens in your house and your stepchild comes home and says, my mom says you did yada yada yada, you might be tempted to respond, do you want to know what your mom did last week? But you know what? That makes you just as bad as she is and I'm pretty sure that you believe your stepkids deserve better than that. So this is what I want you to think about. I want you to think to yourself, what do I want my stepchildren to remember about their childhood when it comes to me as their stepmom. Do you want them to look back and say, oh my gosh, my mom and stepmom had such a crazy turf war. It was chaotic and stressful for everyone. Or you should hear the stuff that my stepmom used to say about my mom. Or do you want them to look back on their childhood and say, you know what? My stepmom went through a lot and she handled it with grace and always was very, very good to us. You know, the choice is yours. But what I want you to remember is that these children, they're going to grow up and they're going to become adults and they're going to form their own opinions. And they're going to look back on their childhood from an adult perspective and they'll be able to look at things from a bigger picture. Right now, you can't blame them for listening to their mom. You can't blame them for listening to what she has to say because you know what? They should trust her because she's their mom. But just know, you need to keep doing you. Keep being the bigger person. Keep showing the kids how much you love them. And at the end of the day, I'm pretty confident that they'll recognize that. So that's it for today, guys. I know it was a really touchy subject and perhaps I didn't give you all the answers in the world, but you wanna know what? That's the thing with stepmom stressors. Sometimes there isn't an answer because like I said before, you can't control how other people act. The only thing that you can control is your own reactions. If you have a topic that you want me to cover or an area where you need a little bit of stepmom support, shoot me an email at jamie at jamiescrimger.com and who knows, maybe you'll be the topic of the next video. I'll see you guys then. The mom, over the past few weeks, My mom says that you're a If you have any areas that you want me to cover or any, that's it for today, guys. So that's, you know what? It's the